Hi everyone! Uh, today I'm going to do a thrift haul. I have an embarrassing amount of stuff to show you today. I didn't buy anything for like five months straight outside of maybe one t-shirt. So once thrift stores opened up again, I feel like I went a little crazy. I've been very bored of my wardrobe, so um, I bought a lot of stuff. I'd say like 98% of it is from thrift stores around me and then the, the rest is either eBay or Depop. If you're from Minnesota, I'll tell you where I got everything because I feel like I have the best thrift stores on lock in Minneapolis. I'll start out with basics. The first thing I just got was this white button down. It's a Ralph Lauren button down from the men's section of the thrift store. I had a woman's white button down and the cut was just a little bit too slim fit. So I feel like it didn't give the oversized effect that I was looking for. The next thing I got was this pistachio green button down. This one, I think is like a tux <laughs> button up um, and I wasn't quite, I didn't notice that when I got it. It has this like very exaggerated um, collar and then the cuffs on it are gigantic. Let me know if you guys know if that means it's a tuxedo button down or if it's something else. These two jackets I got at the Goodwill in Bloomington. Go to the one by the Home Depot. <laughs> not the one by the taco place i don't know where anything is because i have no sense of direction but when you google map it look for the one by the home depot both of these are very grandma-ish and my mom hated them when i showed her them but i feel like i love them so the first one is this silk patchwork jacket the brand is alfred dunner and i got it for 6.99 it's 100 percent silk it's dry clean only um this actually has like a very disgusting um, looks like barf on it that I obviously need to remove but it's dry clean only and I haven't brought it to the dry cleaner yet but I've been obsessed with patchwork lately and there's this photo I have saved on I'm like scared to touch that on <laughs> Instagram of this really cute patchwork jacket and it reminded me of that the next is a similar jacket I s I'm sure it's from the same donator it's this red jacket this one's not silk it's like polyester um, but it's got stitching embroidery all around it it's got the same oversized fit and I feel like it'll be very cute uh, when I move to San Francisco and it's cold but not like Minnesota cold so I feel like I can, I can get away with wearing jackets like that. This next jacket I got off of eBay. It's a very like trendy piece but I think it is so cute. It's this NASCAR jacket. If you guys follow Lainey Ozark she's probably my favorite YouTuber at the moment. I'm obsessed with her style and she has a jacket just like this. And she mentioned these sell for so much money at vintage stores or on Depop, like $100 to $200. It's outrageous. I got this off of eBay for $35. Um, and I love it. It's got the flame sleeves. It's a men's extra large, I believe. So it's nice and oversized. So I think it'll be a good jacket for the winter here or even in colder um, days in SF. I feel like I have very um, tomboy ish style just with like slightly girly pieces so i feel like that will go very well with most of the stuff i own so this is the only piece i got from a vintage store not from a thrift store uh this is from corner store vintage in uptown minneapolis uh they have really really good stuff if you're looking for jeans they have so many levi and lee's jeans and last year i got a really cute pair of like world war ii pants love them um but i got this brown sweater brown very in right now and i thought it was really cute i like the striped detailing it's a little bit itchy because it's 100 percent wool but i don't think it'll bother me and it'll be a good thing to wear when i'm trying to look cute but um i'm not leaving my house until next year so and then my probably top favorite uh thrift store in all of minnesota is arcs value village in new hope it's like 15 minutes outside of the city. Do not go to the one in South, like Bloomington area. Go to the one in New Hope. I always, always score big there. They have great stuff all the time. I don't know who's donating in that neighborhood, but I love it. Um, I got this sweater vest. Sweater vests are obviously very trendy at the moment, uh, but this is like the perfect fit. It fits like right, hits right at the hips for me. So it's not too oversized. It says Walker on it. I have no idea what that brand is, but 
it's like an acrylic wool feeling so it's very itchy so i'll obviously be wearing it as a layering piece but i really like this color with my hair in that same trip i bought this khaki colored sweater v-neck i was hoping it would fit more oversized than it does it's a medium and it's just not like a thick enough material for me that i feel like it doesn't i don't know if it fits right on me let me know what you guys think in the try on um otherwise i might list it on my depop and if you are smaller than me it would be very cute i also found these corduroy um like khaki colored corduroy pants they are size too big for me but they are calvin klein vintage and the fit is perfect through the legs i just need to get the waist taken in for now i can like belt it with a shoelace but i'm gonna get them taken in so they fit nice and tight on my waist and then they've got that baggier look through the legs one thing i do when i go thrifting which i feel like really helps me always find things that i like when i thrift is i have a list in my phone of all of the pieces that i'm looking for and i've been on the lookout for a pair of brown corduroy pants and i love these now for some reason i have the same way i do with jackets i have an obsession with pants i feel like i like to be very like basic in my shirt and then just like have cool pants or a cool jacket but I don't know why I've bought so many pants because it's the one thing I never wear in quarantine like I'll wear a nice shirt like this and my sweatpants from youth hockey in 2008 all day every day so I have a ton of pants to show you um the first of which are these like gray ish army green color I feel like on camera they're looking a little bit gray and in certain lights, they definitely do look charcoal-ish to me. But they're, I think they're more of a green. Um, a nice pair of pleated trousers. I also need to get these taken in on the waist, but I can wear a belt with them and they look good. I have been on the lookout for a pair of off-white jeans and have had no luck finding them. But I did find this pair of cream trousers. These are from Talbot. Um, I always have a lot of luck with Talbot clothes. They fit me perfectly around the waist and then they're nice and baggy through the leg. They're a little bit long so they'll look cool with the right pair of sneakers. The one issue is they are 100% silk so um, A, they're dry clean only and B, they've gotten very wrinkled from how I've had them all <laughs> folded. My bad. Okay, another pair of pants. I'm pretty sure these did not fit me. I went to the Goodwill in Minnetonka, which is like a very bougie part of Minnesota, and I was honestly very unimpressed with the selection. I thought there would be a ton of really nice clothes because so many rich people live around there, but instead there were just a bunch of like idiots who were throwing fits about the long lines and like refusing to wear masks. So don't recommend surrounding yourself um, by rich people. Just kidding. I am really sad that these don't fit. They're like a cream-ish, khaki-ish color. They're vintage Lee trousers, um, and they have such a cool fit, but they're just not baggy enough in my legs. So I'm going to list them on Depop. Let's take a quick break from pants because believe it or not, I do have more. I found this crew neck at Goodwill. I think it's so cute. I'm just obsessed with the color. The neck is like very high and the one thing with me is I have a large head and a large face so things that like grip my neck too much or cut off my neck make my face look even larger. So that's my one complaint. Then I found this scarf at Value Village. Um, I probably will mostly just wear this in my hair. It is see-through as you can tell. So I can definitely wear it as a tube top. It just depends how willing I am to show my nipple. I feel like I actually would probably wear this as a top going out, but that it'll be a long time before that comes. So for now, I'm just gonna wear it as like a ponytail or like a headband type of deal. Next, I found this cardigan. It smells so strongly of a really terrible laundry detergent. So it's like hard having it near my face but it's the perfect like muted lime green color it says it was hand loomed and i just think that's precious um i love cardigans 
I wear them all the time just with like jeans and a tank top. I feel like it's so easy. Um, and it's also great for working from home because it's super comfortable and keeps you warm. Then I found this t-shirt in the kids section. It's just an animal humane society walk for animals t-shirt and I really like where it hits on my hips and I also think the graphic is so cute. It's got a horse with a dog standing on its back with a cat on the dog's back and then the horse is wearing like a little unicorn thing. It's adorable. Next, I actually found this a while ago, but um, it was like at the bottom of my hamper and I don't think I've shown it to you guys. I randomly found this Oscar de la Renta um, sweater at Arc Sally Village. It is the itchiest wool, so you can only wear it on a really cold day when you have something layered underneath it. Otherwise, I think I'll go insane. But it's a very pretty like speckled yarn. Um, and it is a really good fit. It's not too oversized. I feel like I can't wear, for my body type, I feel like I can't wear um, sweaters that go over my hips. And this is a good fit for me. These two pieces are kind of lame, so let's just get it over with really quickly. Here is the world's most terrible shirt on its own, a golf polo, but layered under a crew neck. And I look like I belong on TikTok. And then I just got like this plain Gildan boys t-shirt. It was literally a dollar. It's a kid's medium. Um, but it just fits perfectly because it hits right on your hips. I feel like I'm going to go to Target and just buy a pack of those because I really like the fit of that. Then yesterday at Goodwill, I don't need any more blazers. But I feel like I can wear this once I move. I feel like I can actually go outside in these it's hard to buy these things in minnesota because you literally have two weeks where it's in the temperature range where you don't need a winter coat but it's just this beautiful men's blazer it's got a suede collar and then this really beautiful like red and green and tan houndstooth pattern on it it's got some shoulder pads in it Ugh, she's Beautiful. Okay, we're back to the pants. <laughs> I found these um, black trousers. I was hoping they were gonna be a little bit more oversized than they are, but I actually kind of like the fit of them. Once again, I feel like they'll look good when I can go out with like a very small shirt. I was hoping they were gonna be baggy through the legs and I learned my lesson. If you're thrifting right now and can't try things on, um, bring a tape measure with you because there are so many things that I like hold up to my body and I'm like, yeah, that'll fit. And then I measure it and it's like four inches too small on my hips. So learn my lesson and bring a tape measure. Another pair of black trousers. These ones actually fit, but I just don't know if they're oversized enough. Let me know. <laughs> I need to get the waist taken in on these as well. Um, but yeah, I found these in the men's section. I love, like I said, a good trouser. So I was looking, I've been on the lookout for like a good pair of black oversized trousers. These are randomly like kind of itchy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you don't think they're baggy enough, I'll list them on Depop. Next, I don't, I have no idea where these are from, but I got these at Goodwill. But they just look, they remind me of the army pants I have. And they've got this like, writing on the inside so they're like very vintage and like i said they remind me of the army pants that i have but i have no idea what these are but they're a pair of pleated trousers they've got a button front and they're this like khaki-ish color these are a little bit big on my waist but i feel like it might be okay because of how they fit they're super super um long and super high-waisted but i really like them if anybody knows anything about these pants let me know okay now we're at the point in my pile you've seen everything that fits me i'm just going to quickly show you all of the things that i've bought mainly off of depop that do not work for me the first i was so sad about these are a pair of lee's lee jeans i'm just stupid for these they actually wrote the measurements right and i just wasn't paying attention a nice khaki pair Lee jeans, if you have a small waist and bigger hips, they fit me so well. I cannot get Levi's to fit me 
people who can fit into Levi's with an ass, I don't know how you do it. I don't. These next two are both from the same seller who, bless her heart, measured the hips of these jeans. These are three inches off in the hips. I don't understand where she even got that measurement. But the first pair is this beautiful, um, like burgundy wine color guess jeans. They're like the perfect straight leg fit. I'm so sad that they don't fit me. I'm gonna put them on my Depot. Maybe one day they will fit me, but let's not count on it. And then the next is this like olive pair of Lee jeans. Once again, Lee jeans normally fit me super well. Um, and I should have known that these are, these are tagged in eight and I fit into a 10 in Lee jeans and I should have known, but the measurements should have worked. They're literally the perfect straight leg jean, like this olive brown color. I think they're so cute and I'm very sad that they don't fit me. Then <laughs> I got these linen trousers. Really don't know what I was thinking. These, you, if you're like a six, you can wear them. Um, they're listed as a petite 10, but no, honey. They did not even get up the thigh. Um, but they're this beautiful oatmeal colored linen trousers. So if you're into that, they'll be like six bucks on my Depop. This was a funny buy. I, it says Kansas City Wild Child and I just thought this was so ridiculous, the animal felt print. I got it in the kids section and I love a baby tee and I was confident, like you would think this would fit, but I have too wide of a back that it just looks a little bit ridiculous on me. So once again, if you're smaller than me, very cute. Shocking you guys. I told you that I've been on the hunt for off-white or cream colored denim. I was really sad that these didn't fit. I really thought they would. This is when my measuring tape would have come in handy. They are an express. I do not know what era of express this um, label is from, but they were really, really great, like 100% cotton stiff denim cream trouser and lastly i was very sad about these i don't they just fit too tight on me and i've been on the hunt for a pair of pinstripe black trousers once again too big on my waist but like too tight in my legs for the look i'm looking for from the men's section but truly just like would be the perfect oversized black pinstripe trouser i'm very sad that they don't fit that's like the one thing on my list my list and my in my notes app that I haven't been able to find is a pair of pinstripe trousers that actually fit my waist. All right guys, that is everything I've gotten at the thrift store over the last like month and a half. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. Let me know if you guys like seeing haul videos from me. I don't really film them much, but I do a ton of thrifting. It's disgusting. So let me know if you guys wanna see more uh, thrift videos or any like outfit videos. I would love to do them. Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.